What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Bible Wisdom YouTube channel. You know, I've been having some trouble with my microphones. And so um, if you are wondering why the sound may not be all that great in this particular episode, it's because I'm still working on getting my mic uh, correctly sorted out. And so um, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, just do another video, uh, and that is a little bit of what's going on. I, I looked back through some of my older videos and realized that some of the videos that, you know, were uh, 20, 30 minutes long, you know, they didn't have any audio on it. And so um, I just uploaded it but didn't realize that it didn't have any audio. So um, I'm going to be doing this one just strictly without my microphone. And so it might be a little bit hard to hear, but hopefully it's not too hard to hear. But um, anyway, you know, I um, just have been doing uh, different studies. I was listening to John um, uh chapters 14, 15, and on uh, this morning, you know, um, we uh, have possibly, many people have possibly been sticking with studying mostly the New Testament. Some people uh, seem to stick maybe with a certain area. Maybe if you're like me, I um, maybe study repetitively the New Testament but then jump back to the Old Testament. And, you know, um, I did, I just wanted to give a general, um, you know, update on different things that are happening in the world. Um, I wanted to just, uh, you know, post another video for this channel. Um, you know, <clears throat> many times I think we can... Um, not know what's going on in regards to end times. You know, you have a group of Christians that believe, you know, one thing about end times. Um, another group of Christians believe another way. What I think helps me get through a little bit of some of the confusing times is to continue to study, you know, to show myself approved. And um, if I'm not approved today, I know if I keep on studying, I can get better and become approved. And, um, you know, I have the reasons of why I may believe uh, in a pre-trib rapture. I may believe that there is an a thousand year reign of Christ to come. You know, um, I have those beliefs from looking into uh, the scriptures to see, you know, if that uh, is true. You know, when I started looking into the rapture, you know, I wanted to see that, you know, if there is some uh, validity, is there truth? to the whole rapture concept. And um, the only thing that I would say is that sometimes we have to really look at how we are not appointed to wrath or look at the Bible verses that can su support what we're saying. Now, you know, in all the confusion, I think that same type of concept holds true with other areas in regards to the Bible. You know, um, wh what, do, what happens when a Christian dies or what happens when a person dies? You can look at one Bible verse or you can just repeat what you heard another pastor say. Maybe he conveyed it very confidently or very... Um, uh, strongly in such a way, maybe he really believes what he is saying, but we have to really look at the scriptures ourselves and um, 
And so that's one thing that I would say in regards to some confusion during the end times is that um, we can sometimes um, need to, you know, just study up on some of these concepts. Where do I think we are right now? You know, um, my personal opinion is that, you know, and from other people's opinion, we are in a pre-trib status that we are approaching the tribulation, but we're not yet in the tribulation or we haven't passed the tribulation where it's something in the past. Um, now, I believe there are some good reasons to take the book of Revelation literally, but there is a chance that much of it can be figurative too, but I find it hard to really figure out what exactly it could mean other than just a literal interpretation of it. I find it hard to um, really pinpoint exactly what revelation could mean other than a literal translation. Now, I do try to stay, you know, relevant on what others believe sometimes, you know. I look at maybe what a Seventh-day Adventist believes or, you know, um, what um, one person believes about how there isn't a rapture or, you know, I try to understand some other points and I think that's a safe way to really go about it is, you know, um, maybe listening to what your brother or sister in Christ has to say about Revelation or the end times. I think, you know, I've made a video about this before, but, you know, we cannot always get so obsessive with end times where that's the only thing we're focused on. I think we, you know, definitely shouldn't ignore end times, but, you know, making sure that we are, you know, definitely working on the many other areas in our life that we need to overcome. One of the main points I think Jesus is asking us to do in the end times is to overcome. Overcome maybe different challenges that we are faced with. Overcome sin. Overcome, you know, uh, bad habits. And get to a place where we can feel confident when we stand before God. I think we can be more fearful of end times when we think about maybe we don't think God is going to protect us or maybe we think there is no rapture. Different things I think can be solved one by prayer but two you know also just by studying the word of God to really get grounded on some of the things that we believe. Um, what I've discovered that sometimes it does take a little bit of time to really feel a little bit more confident about what you believe. When you say that Jesus is the son of God, you know, we can understand that more by reading more of the gospels and not just a one time read or five time read, but really studying you know, uh, the scriptures in order to understand more, you know, um, it's just like when you're sitting in class, you know, you may be taking notes, but still there's some things that you may just be distracted on. Um, maybe you're thinking about something else, or maybe you are just, um, uh, really focused on one topic as you're taking notes and you miss the other things that maybe the lecturer or the professor is saying. And that happens all the time in class where you can just, um, you know, be intentional about understanding what you're learning. But sometimes you can miss some concepts. And I think the same things holds true in studying the Bible is that 
I think we we as people can sometimes pick up the Bible and think, oh, this is such a simple book. You know, it's very easy to understand. Then others may say, no, the Bible is too hard to understand. And, you know, they might have those differing opinions. And so I think we still need to, you know, um, continue our pursuit in understanding, you know, what some of the end times teachings are saying. You know, I think it takes a long time to really understand Matthew 24 sometimes or Luke 21. You know, uh, some of those those passages can, you know, confuse us. You know, I think I've changed some of my beliefs, um, maybe not the foundational beliefs, but, you know, as I've read some of the passages more and more, I think I've had more of an understanding than I later had, or, or I mean, previously had. And so, you know, um, I think we are still in the birth pains. You know, I think we have to keep our eyes on Israel. You know, we keep our eyes on some of the headlines that are happening in the news. We know that, um, it seems like we're on the verge of world war. And we also see, um, you know, just the spiraling out of control that the world is headed towards. Um, I don't know exactly how long this unraveling process takes, but... You know, I think I still have goals that I want to reach for the Lord um, and trying my best to lay aside some of my personal desires, which is hard to do. And think about, you know, the kingdom of God, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So, you know, um, let's look at some Bible passages that I think remind us of where we are headed. And I, lo I love looking at Revelation chapters 21 and 22, just because, you know, they are uh, such encouraging passages, you know, when you think about the place of God, where God dwells and where we are headed in the future. Re Revelation chapter 22, Then the angel showed me a river with the water of life, Clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. It flowed down the center of the main street. On each side of the river grew a tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, with a fresh crop each month. The leaves were used for medicine to heal the nations. No longer will there be a curse upon anything. For the throne of God and of the Lamb will be there, and his servants will worship him. You know, I think there's so much just to really discuss in that passage. You know, we have medicinal leaves. We have um, the tree of life there. You know, um, you could do a study of how many times the tree of life is mentioned in the Bible. You could study the water of life, you know, um, that we don't know what um, is the power behind the water of life. It seems to be similar to the tree of life, that it somehow has um, some sort of power. It doesn't seem like it's just regular water, you know, uh, just it, it seems to have a special title to it. So it seems to be something more than just regular water or God gives it some sort of power in some way. I love how there's no longer any curse. You know, many of us experience the curse, I think, without even realizing it. Sometimes we just associate some things as normal parts of life. And we don't always realize that it is a part of God's curse that is on this earth. And that's sometimes hard to really think about. And we we are going to a place where there is no more curse, you know, um, childbearing or, um, 
you know, uh, work. And so those are the two things that really God cursed um, amongst many other things in scripture. And so, you know, um, I think it always is helpful to be reminded of where we are headed towards. And that is heaven and the new earth. You know, when talking about end times, I think it's great to focus on some of the details like the rapture or the millennial reign or the Antichrist or the mark of the beast or, you know, the destruction of Babylon. I think I want to, you know, go through a lot of that on this channel. But also, you know, it's good to be reminded of where we're headed to as well. You know, I think I want to do just a heaven video where I'm going through a long uh, video talking about heaven. Um, and I think that can just be very helpful. OK, I wanted to check to see if this is still recording. OK, so. Um, you know. Um, as we, um, there are things that we should be doing as we are approaching end times, you know, one, I think, you know, letting go of really trying to pick a year that it's going to happen. I think we continue to look at the signs of the times and maybe adjust our life accordingly. I think that, you know, we keep our hope in the rapture. You know, I saw a minister post, you know, did we miss the rapture or something, you know, and, you know, I think we have to be living a life that says, you know, if God were going to have a rapture, I wouldn't be left behind, you know, and and living in such a way where you would know if there is a rapture because, you know, God would rapture you. There's nothing that would be a reason for why you would be left behind other than the rapture has not happened yet. And so that's what I would say. You know, if you have to ask if you missed the rapture, you know, I think that, you know, maybe you're really asking the wrong question about, you know, are you really living in the light and not in the darkness, which is something that we should be working on in the end times, you know, um, when you think about heaven and hell, you know, I do believe that Jesus is just asking us to believe in Jesus in order to go to heaven. But there's other passages that clearly say we are to be keeping certain commandments in order to enter life. I think there are, you know, many scriptures that tell us how we should be living and I don't think we should take our life lightly or just the decisions that we're making. You know, um, I, I think of a proverb sometimes that says, you know, if you're hasty, you can miss the way. And I don't have the exact place where that Bible verse is, but, you know, sometimes we do have to be patient. You know, I, I've been getting a lot of advice lately about, you should be more patient. And, you know, even though I don't like to wait sometimes, but I, I think that is so true that sometimes we do have to not jump the gun so fast, you know, because we don't know all the time which way God is going to lead us in every situation. And so, um, you know, it's, it's good to kind of walk slowly sometimes. There's a classic um, story about a turtle and the rabbit. The rabbit went off fast and, you know, tried to finish the race, but ended up going so fast that he was way ahead of the turtle. And so he decided to just rest and, you know, relax by the finish line, but he didn't cross the finish line. He just waited by the finish line and he's like, oh, I'm going to have plenty of time to cross the finish line because this turtle is so slow. But the turtle kept trotting and trotting and trotting and the turtle didn't stop before the finish line. 
he just kept going through the finish line and he ended up beating the rabbit because, you know, the rabbit, you know, thought he could win, but he did not. And so, you know, I think that many times we um, have so many things coming at us as end times. You know, there's a few channels that I don't necessarily watch every single day because sometimes I think that, you know, if we know every little detail about end times, I think that can sometimes breed confusion, you know, because we are looking at every little thing and we're like, okay, the Lord is coming. Well, we know the Lord is coming, but, you know, I feel like I'm already ready, you know, but I think we have to also continue to do the work that God is having for us to do. And that's endurance. And sometimes endurance, I think, can be hard, too, because even though we may be ready and we're already fit, you know, we could take a break and not pass. We haven't passed the finish line into heaven yet. And so we could just, oh, I'm going to sit down and, you know, relax and we could miss winning the race because we haven't endured until the end. And so, um, thanks so much for checking out this particular episode. You know, um, I will try to get my camera working right. Um, thanks so much again for checking out this channel. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, please go ahead and do so. And I will talk to you on the next video. See ya.